The family came from Boston Logan Airport, where dozens of illegal migrants were sleeping on the floor. Massachusetts residents rage after governor closes rec center to house migrants, they don't care about us. Former city council candidate Sean Nelson and Catherine Vitale, both Massachusetts residents, discuss their opposition to governor. Maura Healy closing down a rec center to house migrants. A Massachusetts couple who volunteered to take in illegal immigrants was surprised when a family of four showed up at the doorstep less than an hour after signing up. With state shelters hitting capacity and migrant families sleeping overnight inside Boston Logan International Airport, Colin and Jessica Stokes of Brookline, Massachusetts, decided to step up and try to make a difference. I was like, I have to get sheets on the beds. How many people are coming? Where are they from? What ages? We really knew nothing, Jessica told WBZ News on Friday. The need is so clearly overwhelming, Colin chimed in. Trendy Boston Waterfront District could get new migrant shelter as Roxbury Max is out, reports. Jessica and Colin Stokes the migrant family that arrived at their home as, wonderful, and, appreciative. WBZ News, CBS Boston. The family of four was one of the migrant groups that had been sleeping at the airport. The parents and two children had traveled all the way from Chile to Texas before heading to Massachusetts. The two kids are currently waiting to be put in a school. The parents stressed that while they are looking to work, the proper authorization forms will likely take several months to be received and approved. Jessica said it is incredible to observe how challenging the situation is from the front lines. The family is lovely. They are so appreciative. It has been wonderful, she added. The migrant crisis has been complex for Massachusetts. The state's newest emergency shelter, located in Roxbury, a neighborhood in Boston, reached its capacity, 400 people, in just one week. Massachusetts closes community center to public to shelter migrants, prompting backlash. Jessica and Colin Stokes said the need to help others amid the migrant crisis is overwhelming and the dysfunction is disheartening. WBZ News, CBS Boston. Governor. Maura Healy's office said in late January the decision to move migrants into the state-owned Melnia Cass Recreation Center was just born out of necessity, as other facilities in the state that have served as housing shelters, including the Logan Airport, have become overwhelmed. We just have to do what we have to do at this time, she added. Local officials are looking into a Boston Seaport office building as the location for another shelter, but Boston City Councilor Ed Flynn said the lack of running water at the site makes it a non-starter. The Stokes hope that other families use them as a case study and decide to put migrants up in their own homes. Just the dysfunction is really disheartening, and I know that really well-intentioned people are working as hard as they can, it's a state of emergency. But it is distressing to see the volume, Jessica said. Fox News Digital has reached out to the Stokes family for an update.